الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala habibina wa syafi'ina wa kudwatina Muhammad ibn Abdillah As-sadiq al-amin Al-nadhi arsalahu Allah rahmatan lil alamin Kama arsalahu bashiran wa nadhira Wa hadian ila Allah bi-idnihi Wa siraja munira Faya ibadullah usikum wa nafsiya bi taqwa Allah Yaqulu Allah ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem Ba'da an nasta'idha billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون وقال ايضا واتقوا الله واعلموا انكم الي تحشرون فمن يتق الله يجعل له من امره يسرا The brothers and sisters in Islam in the Quran there's a group of people they call ibadur rahman the servant of the merciful And how to be member of this group? Right? Allah described you need to have at least you know, 10 qualities. What is the first quality? People will think, oh, the one who always pray tahajjud, you know, half in Quran. No. Allah said, وَإِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هَوْنَا Ibadur Rahman is the one who walk on the earth 
with humility, with humbleness, tawadu. Allah. So the first quality of Ibadu Rahman is the one almost humble. Humble with dealing with his parents, dealing with his children, with his wife. Subhanallah. So therefore why Iblis was cursed by Allah because of what? Because of takabur. He said Iblis used to meet sujud 80,000 years. But because of that disease, Allah cursed them. And also in Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah said, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu man yartadda minkum an dinihi fasafa yati Allah bi qawmi yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna Oh, you believe? If you turn away from Islam, you don't care about Islam. I will bring a group of people whom Allah loves, Allah loves them, and they love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the first quality of this group? Adillatin ala al-mu'minin A'izzatin ala al-kafirin They are humble with the believers, Allah. And they are a dignity, you know, with disbelievers. Again. So therefore, why Rasulullah SAW we call it Sayyidul Mutawadi'in. But before I continue, what is tawadu mean? Tawadu, when you meet anyone, you said, he is or she is better than me. That's tawadu. If you meet somebody and said, ana ahsan minhu, I'm better than him, khalas. This is what God is, Iblis said, ana khairun minhu. Anyone said, ana khairun minhu, because I'm Sudani, I'm Indonesia, I'm Bangladeshi, khalas. So therefore, why Allah Allah said to Musa alayhi salam, Musa, do you know why I make you, I made you kalimullah? He can talk directly. Because I always found humbleness in your heart. Right? Because if you are old, you meet the young people, said he's better than me. He has less sin. If you are young, you meet the old one, she's better than me, have Lord, good deed. I'm not, I'm just starting. Right. So Rasulullah SAW, he was very humble with the children. Can you tell him, Rasulullah SAW, the children, say, Salaam Alaikum. Right? The children love him so much. Also with his wife. If you visit Rasulullah SAW in daytime, what is Rasulullah doing at home? Praying? Reading Quran? No. He was helping his wife. He's helping his children. He make the gods clean the house, fix his shoes. Very humble. So therefore, when, I, when Rasulullah passed away, and someone asked Aisha, Kaifa kana yu amilu zawjati? How did he treat his wife? Bakat. She was crying. Qalat kana alyanan nas. He was very gentle, he's very humble. So I'm sorry, if you are husband, if you want to know you are a good husband or not, you have to wait. Until you die, somebody asks your wife, and your wife cry, oh, that's a good man, I miss you. That's a good sign. But if after you die, somebody asks your wife about you, your wife said, I wish you died a long time ago. Because you can be super Muslim in the masjid. But how about at home? Right? The same is companion. Kana la yuridu an yumayyiz. That's why he don't want to be different. You know, if there's guests come from outside, they have to find out which one Muhammad. Because he's very, very humble. You know? Even with, with, with his enemy, Abu Jahal, he paid somebody to spit on Salah's face every day. You know, if somebody spit on your face, what do you do? At least face him back. That's not just like this. After three weeks, he didn't see that man. So he asked his companion, Where's that man, the one who almost spit on my face? Said, oh, he's sick. Most people, when he heard somebody always bothering him, he's sick. What are you going to say? I wish he died now. Rasulullah, he went home. And asked Fatima to cook. Fatima cooked the like soup. Rasulullah visited him. He was like, ah, he was very sick. Rasulullah put his left hand under his head 
and I still feed him. And after he finished, he said, are you Muhammad? He said, yeah. The one that I spit on you every day? He said, yes. I said, yes. I said, yes. Muhammad is Rasulullah. So the brothers, uh, tawadu is very important that so you can have connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because arrogant make you, there is a barrier between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Imam Ahmad, one day he was making tawaf, there's a man from Africa. In the first three rounds, he said, Ya Allah, ana miskin, my wife miskin, my children miskin, ana wala shay, ana wala had, I am nothing, Ya Allah. So after he finished tawaf, Imam Ahmad gave him money. I said, what for? It's for you. Why? You are miskin. He said, I am the richest one in Africa. The only time I can enjoy the tawaf, I can connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if I put myself down. You know, the reason sometimes we cannot enjoy taraweeh, we cannot Quran, because we have something maybe. Right? So the Rasulullah SAW, when he wake up in the morning, we went to pray tahajjud, what he said? Allahumma ini abduk, wa abnu abdik, wa abnu amatik, nasiyati biadik. Allah, I am your slave. My father, your slave. My wife, or my mother, your slave. My forelock in your hand. Subhanallah. There is a, a man came to Seattle from Muslim country. You know, he's still young. So he get lost. You know, he no more come to masjid, no more pray, drinking. And then he got married, he had three children. So one day someone invited him for Akika. So he had to come. So he went to Masjid. But Alhamdulillah, there is a the chef. He was giving lecture and really knocking his heart. So he came back to Islam. He started praying, started coming to Masjid. And then he tried to convince his wife to make him Muslim, but almost ended with fighting. His wife, she know him, she know him. She went to the Sheikh. She what I have to do, Sheikh? My wife refused, we almost fighting. I said, don't talk about your Islam with your wife. Yes, Sheikh, she's the mother of my children. I'm worried, what I have to do? Just study, you know, sirah. Muhammad sallallahu how to be good husband. Alhamdulillah, he listened, right? So in three years, he never talked about Islam with him, with her. So one day after he prayed Maghrib, Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum, he saw a woman was praying behind him. It was his wife, you? He said, yeah, why? He said, look, in three years, you are different. You are so nice. You are so humble. You never call me name anymore. And I believe this religion should be good for you, for me, and for my children. That's the result of humbleness and good akhlaq. Barakallahu alaikum bil Quran al Karim wa nafani akum bil adwar dikir hakim. Aqul qawli hada wa tuhi wa lakum udu Allah wa antum mukin al jinzal washi. Alhamdulillah, hamdan ya fi ni'amma ya kafi mazidah. Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu kama yubagi li jalali wajika wa azumi sultanik. Inna Allah wa malaikata yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi. The brothers and sisters, if you study what happened in Gaza, it's the same reason. Because a group of people, they are arrogant. They feel they are superior. And, and they treat the others, they are nothing. 
if when they call them animals. That's the real cause, right? And they try to destroy them. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the one who is in control. He is the one in power. And mashallah, if you look at what happened, you know, the people of Gaza, they teach the word many things. And every, uh, almost every week in our masjid in Seattle, people become Muslim. And the reason, because of Gaza. He said, how those people, they still steadfastness, resilience with all this, what happened, right? But the question now, what is our role when you see this? You know, just enough dua, no. Do you know in the Hadith Sahih that we cannot kill frog? Do you know why? Because he said, Sautuhu Tasbih. The frog, when they give voice, croak, croak, they make Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. And the reason, when Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salam, going to put in the fire, a frog went to the river and sipped the water, and they tried to, to turn off the fire. When other animals said, what are you doing? You don't know what happened. What, what, what happened? He said, they're going to, to put Khalilullah in the fire. And what are you doing? I tried to turn off the fire. I said, what? He said, I know. I won't be able to turn off the fire. But I have two messages. Number one, I want to make a statement that I'm against this oppressor. Number two, dear gentlemen, when Allah asked me, what did you do when my colleague went to win fire? He said, I tried to turn off. So Allah will ask this question, what did you do when you see people suffering in Gaza? So therefore, waqoli malu, Allah SWT said, do whatever you want. You are good in tweet, tweet. Good in, in uh, Instagram, even just copy and pass. You know, the world is changed now. The sympathy is because of the media. Because of you. So in their judgment, when the Gaza people, they're going to Jannah, because all people who are dead, they died now, they are in good condition now. They are happy now. And they see, oh, mashallah, these people, he's in Dallas, but he joined the protest and he did something. We ask Allah SWT, that Allah SWT, inshallah, remove their difficulties. Ayat we ask Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah give them patience. Give them steadfastness, inshallah. Right? Allahumma hina ala al-Islam wa sunnah wa tawafana ala al-Imani wa tawba. Allahumma jan khayru umrina akhirahum wa khayru amalina khawatimahu wa khayru ayyamina yawma anal kawka fi inaka ala kulishan qudir. Allahumma ya ilahana laysa li hari gazza mu'inan siwa Allah kun kun awnan lahum Allahumma arham mautahum wa asfi mardahum. Allahumma aftahum fathan mubina wa ansuruhum nasran aziza. Allahumma aghfir lil wina uminat wa al muslimina wa muslimat al ahya minu wa al ambad inna ka sami'u al-dawad ya mujib al-hajad. Allahumma barik lana fi awladina wa afikum ila ta'atik wa arzubna birrahum wa jadhu min as-salihin al-qarnitin al-hafidin. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا عذاب النار إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى أن الفحش والمنكر والبغي يعذب لكم ذكرون قلت أذكركم وأقيم الصلاة